time on building the X set. We're installing the motor mounts and putting the motor and tranny in the front subframe. Okay, so first off, before inserting the motor, is um, I'm going to be installing the motor mounts onto the engine block. Uh, I was a little confused with all these different holes on where the proper location to bolt the motor mounts was, but um, talking to a couple people, I found out it, there's only one direction that the motor mounts can be installed. The rest of these are for uh, front wheel drive cars for mounts and so forth. So um, basically, this is the driver's side and the driver's side mount, just to give you a good visual on that of the shape and area that it sits in. Then this side I found takes the three of the four shorter bolts. Now moving over to the passenger side here, this mount looks like this and it will mount in to these holes here. So basically um, this hole, this hole, and this hole are the mounting locations. Now. This hole and this hole take the two longer bolts, and this hole here takes the fourth shorter bolt. So that should help you with those. Uh, once you're done with that, then you need to properly torque them down. Um, I will let you know the torque specs here in a sec once I get my torque wrench out. Okay, then these engine mount bolts here, torquing them all down. Uh, the torque spec is... Uh, it goes around 30 up to 38 foot-pounds, so I'm going to do 35 foot-pounds on uh, my motor mount bolts there. Now on to the passenger side to get those ones torqued down as well. So my next step here is basically getting the front subframe ready uh, to mount the engine and transmission onto it. I have my original 8-inch um, blocks here, as you can see, uh, that I use for propping up the, um, uh, keeping the control arm space for the uh, with no chassis, the subframe will just collapse to the floor. Uh, I got that blocking in this side, and I have mounted the old nasty, which I feel really bad about doing, but putting the old nasty uh, uh, wheels and tires on here. I have my new wheels, I just have not bought tires yet. So um, having these mounted on here, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, and then that will prop the subframe up enough that I can get a couple jack stands underneath it, and uh, and then get ready for installing the motor and tranny onto the subframe. Just give a quick overview of kind of how this is going to go as I'm not going to be able to do any explaining while I am actually uh, mounting the engine in the subframe because I'm going to be quite busy uh, juggling parts around. Basically I have my two front wheels supporting along with my blocks of wood supporting the front suspension subframe part. Then in the back here, I have a couple of Harbor Freight dollies with some 2x6s underneath, uh, getting that semi-flat. Then you can see the jack stand back there. Um, idea is I need to get these pins that are on each side of the motor mounts have to go in these holes. Then once those are mounted there, they will be resting on the subframe. I can go underneath through here and bolt them down. The weight of the transmission is going to be on that jack stand, and that will keep the front end from flopping around too much. So once I get that mounted in, I can remove these carts and the block of wood and basically just put a cart or cart and 2x4s or that jack stand under the rear end to balance the whole assembly. So I'm going to mount the camera up uh, and just kind of take some video as I'm doing it. I'm not going to have any commentary. I'll just kind of cut that up uh, and fast forward it so everyone can kind of see how I'm maneuvering it to get it onto the front subframe.
So um, now that I got it positioned over, I went ahead and put the driver's side mount in as there is only a hole in the driver's side for the pin for the mount. However, when you come over to the passenger side, and you won't be able to see probably because of my towel, there is not just a hole like this. There is this whole slot here. So once you get enough room to get this mount in, and you probably can't see it, but that, that threaded rod is right there. That will give you enough room, I'm assuming. That's why this is has a line notched out so that this can come down and slide into that hole. The other side, that wasn't going to happen. So it's a pretty tight fit, but I think that's gonna do it. So now I'm just gonna put the nut real quick on that side, just loosely on the driver's side, and then I'm going to jack the motor up slightly so I can remove this rag and then slowly guide it down in through that slot before I tighten the a motor down and set it down on the subframe. still have the crane here and hooked up it's loose but the motor is sitting on the subframe but before I remove the crane I'm just gonna crank these uh, lock bolts that are up inside there for the motor mounts lock get these lock nuts um, tightened down here to get it all locked into place they're pretty hard to access here um, just because there's a lot in the way I'm not going to torque them down yet until I get the uh, crane removed, but I'm just going to get them uh, tight enough with a wrench that I feel stable enough to remove the crane. Up here is I'm going to get my torque wrench underneath and tighten up the nuts to the motor mounts uh, into the subframe. Uh, 55 foot pounds of torque. And once I get that torque down, then basically the engine installation is complete for this video. Next video, I'm going to focus on connecting the drive line to the rear differential and uh, installing the power plant frame.